All right, well, welcome back, everybody, as we're live here from the Progressive Auto Sales Arena. No score to report here, 0-0 uh, zero, zero both teams. I have to say both teams working very, very hard, staying in front of the puck, being where they need to be, uh, almost even on shots on goal. Very cool to have nine. We've got eight. So as far as a hockey score goes, there's nothing really to talk about yet, but we are seeing a good hockey game out there. Uh, both goalies playing very, very well. So we'll see what the next period dictates. Will they keep just playing hockey or we'll see some strategy change? I don't know, but we'll keep you updated on that for sure as things progress through the second period. Right now, we're going to talk to the Women's Interval Home. They've got a special launch happening here. They're the Chuckapuck uh, charity or nonprofit right now. Uh, Michelle Batty, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Uh, you are what with the Women's Interval Home? I'm the Executive Director of the Women's Interval Home and Executive Director of the Sexual Assault Survivors Center. Yeah, okay. So obviously you're here to raise some money. I mean, nonprofits and charities are always working hard to raise money. What's special about tonight, though? Uh, November is uh, Women Abuse Prevention Month, and November 1st we're launching our provincial campaign wrapped in courage, so our scarves and purple ties that we're selling, and wanting to bring awareness to the issue of domestic violence and sexual violence. Right. So aside from uh, raising money, you have to create a lot of awareness out there, uh, as well as uh, there must be some programs in place. We have a lot of services that we offer at the shelter. Oftentimes people think we're just a residential crisis uh, shelter for yep. where women and children go, but we have a lot more programming. We have life skills groups, we have programming for children, creative ca crafts, we have counseling, we have counseling for women and, and, and their children. They don't necessarily have to be um, in the shelter, they can also be, okay. you know, a, in their own um, uh, homes and that and coming for counseling. So we have a lot of supports, housing supports, child witness supports, so we do so much. Yeah. Well, it's a good point that you make because I think, you know, honestly, you say women's interval home, that's probably part of the uh, the issue of that's all that people think. It's just that title. But And it, I like how you mentioned children in there because children are certainly uh, hugely affected by this. They are very affected by domestic violence and uh, really, we, you know, we want uh, the children in our community uh, to know that there are services and that violence is not okay, um, that there are supports for everyone. Yeah, it's got to be, uh, it wouldn't be an easy topic of discussion at times, I'm sure. What about confidentiality? I mean, this is that's got to be something that's hugely important with reaching out to you uh, for help? Well, all our services are confidential. Uh, you know, we uh, are a high, um, uh, securely high uh, f facility. Uh, so right. that is something that, you know, we, we ensure that uh, confidence, confidentiality is key. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure you, you're getting good support from the community here. I mean, Sarnia Lampton is a very giving community. Do you see that as well when you're out in the community? Very much so. The you know Christmas is coming up, and there are so many wonderful people who donate. They you know new toys, gift cards, those kinds of things uh, for those in need, and um, you know quilts and knitted goods like this. Our community is second to none when it comes to yeah. donating and helping out. Some of those tiny things too, like just a a blanket to keep somebody warm on a day where yeah. you're having a bad day, that warm blanket yeah. can really uh, help things. And we can always use new pillows. Oh, okay. When women transition out um, and, their, and their children, they take their pillows with them. Yeah. So we're constantly needing replaced okay. pillows. Right. <laughs> you talk about Christmas time. Um, I mean, any time of year is not a good time for this, but is Christmas time a time where you see more of a problem happening? We do. We're full. We've been full nonstop. Um, we've been over capacity. We're funded 17 beds by the ministry. Um, we have some extra funding from donations and fundraising that we can go up to 21 at times, but um, it's like a pull-out couch. It's not the most ideal situation, right. but for safety reasons. Sure. Yeah, but okay. Christmas is a really difficult time, and uh, we are full. Yeah, okay. So if people want to reach out to you, and uh, just come back, stay in my camera there, don't go away on me. Um, if people want to reach out to you and they want to make donations or they just want to get involved, how do they do that? They just need to contact the shelter. Just call us and uh, they can go online at the womensinterablehome.com okay. 
and uh, check out. We have a list of donations that we need. But all they need to do is call us Just and then, out, okay. yeah, and well, Fantastic. we're a 24 hour facility, so there's always someone there to respond. Okay. And you're a hockey fan tonight, are you? I'm a longtime hockey fan because most of my boys were goalies. Oh, okay. And now my granddaughters are a ringette. Okay. And they're ringette. And so they're going to be in the, fan. yeah, they're going to be uh, doing the puck drop collection tonight. All right, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Yeah. So then, let's get a go, sting, go. Ready? On the count of three, we'll do okay. it together. One, two, three. Go, go sting. sting, go. Oh, I forgot to go. That's all right. We'll <laughs> go, sting, go. Michelle Betty, thanks so much for Thank joining you. me here tonight. Okay. All right, the Women's Interval Home here tonight. You can reach out to them. Just Google it. You know how to find them. They can look for your support, and uh, we'll definitely appreciate the support as well. Once again, a score of 0-0 zero zero right now with Barry Colts. One more shot on goal than us. We'll see what happens come second period. Follow everywhere. We'll keep you updated. For the show live on location and my friend Michelle, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.